All right, guys, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. And today we have another knife from my buddy Kyle from DTOM Knives and Gear. Check him out. Kyle, you're the best, brother. Thanks for sending these out. Uh, today we have the Spyderco Shaman. Um, I told him I don't have enough Spyderco knives on the channel. And he suggested we talked about the Manix 2XL or the Shaman. And he said, why don't you check the Shaman out? So that's what we have. Um, I have carried this quite a bit. I am a fan of the Spyderco Leaf Shape Blade. I am a fan of the Spyderco um, uh, Finger Choil. Um, I'm a fan of this knife. Now, there are a couple things, and we will talk about it, uh, but there, I'll let the cat out of the bag right out of the bat. And my newfound love of fidgeting and finger middle finger flicking, spidey flicking, um, is very much in sync with this knife. So let's get into it. Say hi to Ren and Stimpy. And powdered toast man and let's go uh so this is the original uh black stonewash uh shaman made in golden colorado got the cpm s30v uh there you go golden colorado usa earth love the spidey hole nice and rolled off uh i love the jimping it's very similar to the jimping on the manix here and here there's no jimping back here uh really um Nicely done backspacer. I like how it's sort of inset. Um, really like that. Uh, we'll get into this in a minute. There is uh, nice relief in there as far as weight reduction. And this is a compression lock. Um, we'll go into specs here in just a moment. Uh, but in the meantime, let's just talk a little bit more about impressions. So the very first thing I noticed about this knife when I got it in hand is, is the scales. Um, a, I love how they're rolled off, and I love how they're shaped. Um, B, they're too smooth. I just wish there was a little bit of texture. Now, you guys know you've seen me do this a lot. There's a lot less resistance. Um, I just wish there was a little bit of a texture. Now, that's just for pulling it out of my pocket and, and getting it into position. Once you're here, all that goes out the window. Uh, there, there is no concern once you're actually gripping the knife uh, for me uh, with using it. I was cutting boxes and different things. And by the way, it cuts really nicely. Nice Spyderco flat grind. Uh, I didn't expect anything different. And it, um, you know, it cuts. And I don't have any problem with ergos on this knife. Um, the pocket clip, uh, because of where it's positioned, does hit me a little bit right here. Well, let me turn my hand over right there. Um, I would not call that a hot spot for me. Um, you feel it. Now, if I was, you know, cutting 87 boxes for an, an hour, maybe. Um, but, you know, it's, it's definitely not a huge concern to me. But again, like I'm showing you, it is, I just need a little grip for my thumb there because sometimes when I'm spike flicking it, it wants, no, see, now I can't even spotty flick it anymore. I did, I was too braggy. There we go. Um, it wants to come out of my hand because it's so smooth. Um, that's it. This blade is beautiful. I, you know, I know there are people that don't like the Spyderco blades. I love the shape of this blade. You guys know I love my Manix 2 um, and my PM2 and all those things. Um, just great. So as far as centering, it's a little off to the show side, but not bad. Uh, as far as lockup, um, and I don't always show this on a compression lock because it's not easy to see, but it's great. I mean, there's there's no concern there. There's no blade play. Well, okay, wait a minute. There's a tiny little bit of blade play there, but ever so slightly. If I adjusted this pivot, and Kyle said this is a user, uh, I bet that would go away. Um, very ever so slightly. I mean, not not to complain about no rock. No lock rock whatsoever. Just a little bit of side-to-side -side blade play. Um, so let's talk about specs, um, and we'll go through, and that'll be it. So it's an 8-inch long knife, uh, 3.58 inches on the blade length, and 3.01 on the cutting edge because of that finger choil. Um, the blade grind is flat. Uh, it is a drop point. I haven't really said that. The blade thickness is 0.15 inches. Um, the handle length is 4.42 inches, which is awesome. And uh, G10, 5.2 ounces. So it's a little on the heavy side, but it's an 8-inch knife, guys. And it's meant to be 
a um, a working knife and a substantial working knife, and that's exactly what it is. Made in the USA. Uh, I love this knife, guys. I mean, there's not a whole lot else to say because you've probably seen this one reviewed uh, before by other channels. Um, and so I don't want to get super into the weeds with more specs or more things. I just want, you know, and, and again, I like the way the lanyard is cut. Lanyard hole is cut into the clip like that. You can probably get aftermarket clips. You can probably get aftermarket scales to fix my concern. Um, just... You know, maybe if I had something with some texture, I think, uh, like a micarta, I think I, this knife would be near perfect for me. Um, and it's pretty close already. Um, I just like it now. Kyle is saying he um, front flips this guy, and I do too, apparently. Um, it is a little sharp on the thumb there um, because that jimping is pretty sharp, but but it's definitely a doable thing. Uh, so that is really cool as well. Um, can you lighter? Nah, I can't at least, but I like it. Um, and you can thumb flick it. I didn't really show that because uh, if I can spotty flick, I'm going to do it. So there you go. The Spider Co. Shaman. Um, really, really digging this knife, guys. Uh, it is a uh, Sal Glasser design. Uh, and I think Sal's Maker Mark is one of my favorites, Eric's too. Um, but just really, look at that, I screwed it up again. Just really digging this knife. Kyle, I'm so thankful for you sending it, man. These are coming back your way soon. Guys, what do you think of this? Do you have a shaman? Uh, what do you, what are your scales? Uh, what do you think of that? And just let me know. Give me a thumbs up and hopefully you're subscribed. And guys, thanks so much for watching the Knives Fast. How about that? Look at that. The Knives Fast channel. <laughs>